What's up guys, Juno Sloth here and today I am sharing our latest perfect war over here at Xloyal. Now these guys absolutely blow me out of the water with some of the levels of attack they can pull off and I'm going to share three of the three star attacks from this war with you. If you check our war log, you will see that it is also flawless. Now the current war streak is a total credit to the clan. The coordination and real supportive atmosphere of these guys makes it possible. If you are interested in joining, you will see the entry requirements in the description of the clan. But without further ado, let's dive straight into these three star attacks. The first one is at Town Hall 10. It is the top guys and it's against one of these ring style bases. And with this particular attack, I would mainly encourage you to really focus on the funnel that is created here. It is absolutely brilliant and he is able to send a stack of Valkyries straight into the core. So a queen walk is started right in the south and straight away that takes out the enemy archer queen but also she will walk along the western side of the base here and start creating that funnel. Now I do miss it on this replay but as the archer queen is walking along this side a single hog rider was used on the opposite side of the base in order to lure the clan castle. Two poison spells are then used in a line between the troops and the queen and this means that the clan castle balloons are in the poison spells the entire time and they don't even reach the queen. She is also easily able to take out that dragon. As the queen continues to walk along the west side, we now need to focus on the east side of the base in order to create the funnel on this side. A few Valkyries behind the king will start to take out buildings along this entire side. You can see the queen has opened up a brilliant gap across the left and it's just a case of waiting patiently until the Valkyries create that gap on the right. The jump spell is in and then we can test a few Valkyries. You can see they target the cannon in the center. That is the cue to send all of the Valkyries in, jump spell on the back end of the core and then we rage them Valkyries in the middle, pop a heal spell there as well and before you know it, that core is down, the Valkyries are heading out, a rage spell to help power them through these high hit point storages and onto the back end defenses and before you know it, the king is walking around the right, the queen is moving around the left and we also had a couple of hog riders in order to take out them last few defenses and really cap off this amazing attack. So there are more than enough troops in order to clean up the rest of this base. That is how you break down one of these ring bases. I really liked the patience and waiting for that funnel to be created and you saw just how deadly them Valkyries were once they got through to the middle. So moving on to the next one, this is a Town Hall 9 attack and JSP is going to take this down with a Shattered Laloon. You can see that the four air defense are in a nice square and quite symmetrical around the base which really sets up this attack. However, we're going to come in from the south because the enemy Archer Queen is there. We can take out two air defense and the enemy clan castle as well. Because we're wanting to take out all of them objectives, the extra golem will give us that little bit more bang for our buck. So out come the enemy clan castle troops, a jump spell is used to help access right into the middle of the base and a rage spell helped to push all of them troops through the clan castle defending troops and onto the two air defences. Again you will notice the patience with this attack, we're waiting until them air defence go down and also take note to the deployment of these two lava hounds. The first one is cut in from quite an angle because we do have a Tesla and an archer tower on the southwest side here that we need to take down. The second lava hound came from the west side of the base. This helps to attract more fire from defences and also helps to set off more air traps. The haste spells will also help to power the balloons through in order to keep them up with the lava hounds. We're then able to bring a third one in from the east side of the base. Once the archer tower is then locked onto the lava hound, the balloons come behind and you'll see that haste spells sprinkled around the base, keep the balloons up next to the lava hounds, power them to the next defense and just look at how many are left over for this remaining archer tower and then we have all of the lava pups left for cleanup and even a couple of extra balloons in order to sprinkle around and get that extra damage. So a very nice Laloon attack, 
used the rage and jump spells initially in order to take out that southern part of the base and then used haste spells in order to power the balloons through to each defense made sure that they were never too far behind them lava hounds which were tanking for them and again the patience on this attack cutting the lava hounds in from appropriate angles and then surgically deploying the balloons into each of the defenses once they were distracted with the lava hounds. So moving on to the final Town Hall 9 attack and we'll wrap this video up, really wanted to just give you a snapshot of this war, how it went and some of the amazing attacks that went on. This one is a Govaho attack and again, look at the nice funnel which is created in the south here. Very patient to make sure that that is fully created before the Valkyries come in. You guys know how much of a fan I am of the Govaho attack. I did have my recent guide at Town Hall 8. Maybe I'll bring some of these guys attacks together and bring you a Town Hall 9 version of it. This attack is actually a 9.5, you will notice that extra spell, but I still wanted to bring you it because of the amount of precision which is included in this attack. Wanted to highlight to you again the patience which is involved. You may have noticed a couple of hog riders sprinkled into the archer tower on the southwest. A couple are also just about to be deployed on the east onto that cannon since it is distracted with the king. And then this is going to take place across the defenses at the top as well. So very surgical with the deployment. Nice deployment of the heal spell there as well as the hog riders move through. They then hit spring trap territory as they get to the final defenses couple of hog riders onto the archer tower once they lock on the original hogs. A very nice video which was recently put up by Clash Attacks with Joe really highlighted the hog rider deployment onto the back end and the patience involved. So go check that out, I'll link it in the top right if you are interested. But that wraps it up for this one. I hope that that really showed you the importance of taking your time within an attack, the patience involved and also setting up that funnel. That's it for this one, I've been your host Judo Sloth, make sure to subscribe for more Clash of Clans and until next time, peace out guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.